Module 3. We're going to be learning about Google Search Query Strings and we're going to learn the Google Search Operators. Then we're going to move in to start building some Search Query Strings and we'll finish off with uh, filtering the results to refine the data. Okay, welcome back. We're in Module 3 now. We're going to take what we learned in Module 2 and build upon it. So if you remember in Module 2, I showed you the advanced search feature for Google and how useful that could be. Well, let's just make it a bit more useful. And and um, I just find with the that way of doing it, you are still restricted a bit by some of the options within Google. So let's just take one of these terms. Let's say uh, we were at Honda Accord, I believe. Let's go back there. So we're going to go in to advanced search and let's take one of the search terms that we were looking for. So we had Honda Accord. Let's just take the one, for example, the site or domain where it was ebay.ca. Let's do this search. Have a look up here. It says Honda Accord site ebay.ca. This site colon is what we call the operator. So it's saying, look anywhere on the page for the keywords Honda and Accord within the site ebay.ca. Okay, so now that we have this, let's say we want to put it on Kijiji. .ca. There, we have all the results from Kijiji. So yeah, as you can see, once you know these operators, you can use in, in, these in any combination that you would like, in any form that you would like. So let's go, uh, let's go back to advanced search. And see the one none of these? Here's another one. Okay. Let's add Honda Accord. Um, let's say there was a particular year you weren't looking for. Let's say it was 2010. So anything that had 2010, it's going to exclude that particular result. Go down, hit advanced search. Now, you can see this minus. This is another op operator, and it basically means to exclude this search term right here. So any of these words, or all, sorry, all of these words anywhere in the page, in any combination, minus this keyword. So anything with this keyword is going to be excluded within the site kijiji.ca. So you've just searched kijiji.ca for Honda Accords but have excluded all the 2010 results. Okay, let's uh, use some more examples here. Let's do the advanced search for uh, take that out. Here, this is a good one. For that term appearing anywhere in the page uh, is where it was. Let's say it's in the title. You want to search for Honda Accord. Let's take out this one as well, just so it's uh, still nice and clean so we can see exactly what we're looking at. So this operator, all in title, colon, Honda Accord. So it has to be in the title. You can see these, the blue bar, or the blue uh, text here is the title of each page that uh, Google pulls in. So you can see it's, it's there. So now that we have that operator, you could search for anything you want. Let's go Fast Curves Lyrics. You can see it's all there. Fast Cars Lyrics, and it's in the title. 
let's go back. See what other options you have. So in the URL, what's this search? What's this operator look like? So you can see all in URL, fast cars lyrics. So it has to be somewhere in this green text, which is the URL for the page, fast cars lyrics. Oh, there it is. Um, so there's all in URL, all in um, title, and let's have a look now at one of the other options. I'm going to do one or two more here and then um, we'll move on. Let's say the text. All in the text. All in text. So somewhere in the text on that page, it has to be there. And it's not to say it's not anywhere else. As you can see, it's in the title and it's in the URL but it's also somewhere in the text on the page. Let's just click. So there it is. It's right there. It's, it's, uh, it's in one of the headings as well. But it could have been anywhere on the text on this page. It probably is uh, more places. Okay. So what I want you to really understand for this is this operator. Um, and there's a list, I'm going to show you or provide you with a list of all of the other operators that, um, well not all of, a lot of the other operators that you can use with Google. Um, and with a combination of these, you can, you know, it's pretty much limitless as what you can search for and how specific you want to get. Sometimes you'll get so specific that you don't get enough results, so you have to back it up a little bit um, and uh, go from there. But with all of these tools, it's uh, it's a really, really powerful um, resource for doing research and uh, your detective work for when you're searching for your backlinks. So that's basically all I wanted to show uh, on this uh, video here was these operators and how they work in the search bar. And actually, one more quick thing I wanted to show was how you can filter these results um, once you do one of these searches. So you can put an operator in in your, your search term and then if you want to uh, filter that even farther it's really easy to just, uh, I'm going to scroll down here and uh, I have these open but if I click fewer search tools this is probably what it will look like for you the first time. Um, just click on more search tools and one that I like to uh, filter for is uh, time. So you know let's just say you're looking for some uh, a blog that's just posted a comment because you want to be one of the first people to comment on it let's just say um, then you're going to filter that by let's say maybe in the past 24 hours and it will give you you can see here 19 hours ago 13 hours 9 hours so everything that meets your above criteria that you put in with your uh, search operator and keyword plus it has to be posted within the last 24 hours. And you can even do uh, the past hour if you would like. And that's stuff that's really fresh. Uh, in the next videos, we'll be showing how you're going to specifically use these to uh, pinpoint uh, really specific um, targeted uh, places to put your links for your sites linking back to you.